No one really expected this. A new moon will accompany Earth for some time. The mini-moon has already entered Earth's orbit and will be with us for a while. A new moon sounds strange to us at first and takes some getting used to. We inevitably have to ask ourselves whether a temporary additional Earth satellite can adversely affect our lives on Earth. The questions of where this mini-moon really comes from and what exactly its future route will be have not yet been sufficiently clarified. Scientists warn against jumping to conclusions. We will only be able to make definitive statements once we have succeeded in examining the new moon in more detail. Would you have believed that we could capture a new moon just like that? Our big moon has probably been accompanying the Earth for billions of years and we have become accustomed to it. Many processes on Earth even depend on the Earth's satellite. New moons that sporadically accompany our globe are a strange idea and yet it is possible. As crazy as this story sounds, what we face in October 2024 is actually quite normal in astronomical terms. The rock fragments that temporarily accompany us are not normally referred to as mini-moons. The correct term would be asteroid or small asteroid. These cosmic visitors have so little weight that they behave in a very unusual way. In the case of asteroid 2024 PT5, another circumstance led to it being named a supermoon. This asteroid probably has an interesting relationship with our moon, which we will examine in more detail in a moment. But now, first of all, the facts about Earth's new moon. Asteroid 2024 PT5 was discovered in August 2024, and soon after its discovery, it became clear that this asteroid would temporarily become a mini-moon. Asteroid 2024 PT5 is really very small. With a diameter of only a few meters, it looks more like a flying pebble than a dangerous space projectile. The asteroid has been traveling around the Earth for quite a while and is sporadically attracted to our home planet. This time, the approach is so close that PT-5 will be firmly attached to our home planet's orbit for almost two months. It will follow us for a full 57 days before changing to a different orbit and leaving us again. Asteroids and comets are attracted by the Sun. On their journey, they brush against the magnetic fields of other celestial bodies and may be attracted by them, just as asteroid 2024 PT5 is now attracted by Earth and will be bound for a time. The mini-asteroid entered its orbit around Earth as early as September 29, 2024 and is expected to remain near Earth until November 25, 2024. Is Asteroid 2024 PT-5 a serious hazard? It may seem crazy to call an asteroid a mini-moon. After all, asteroids are among the greatest threats that can come to us from the universe. But with Asteroid 2024 PT-5, everything is really different. This rock is so tiny that it really poses no danger to us. Some skeptics, and especially esotericists, who believe that the moon exerts mysterious powers on us, present the danger differently. As we know, the moon is able to significantly influence the water level in our seas. Some para-researchers therefore claim that even asteroids the size of 2024 PT5 can lead to certain changes on Earth. With a size of only a few meters, however, this may be doubted. Basically, the impact of asteroid 2024 PT5 is like throwing a pebble into the water anywhere. It will cause a small ripple on the water surface and then sink without causing a larger wave or even a tsunami. With larger asteroids, it looks quite different, but they also take very different flight paths and also behave differently. Asteroids that are several hundred meters or even kilometers in size can pose a danger to us as they fly through the solar system. These asteroids usually have so much mass and speed that they cannot simply be bound by our magnetic field. Asteroids that shoot through space at speeds of tens of thousands of kilometers per hour simply break through our magnetic field and, in the worst case, hit the surface. If they miss us, they continue on solid paths through the solar system, approaching the Sun, then moving away again, passing the orbits of planets like Earth or even Mercury, Venus, or Mars. Each asteroid has its own unique trajectory, which depends on its size, weight, and the composition of the rock. Asteroids are massive objects that mostly originated in the early days of our solar system and have been flying through the system ever since as remnants of the birth of our star and planets. 
Fortunately, most asteroids are firmly bound in larger clusters. Between Jupiter and Mars is the asteroid belt, which contains well over 100,000 individual boulders ranging in size from pebbles to projectiles several kilometers in diameter. Sporadically, the gravitational interplay between the Sun and the other objects in the system causes asteroids to break out of their fixed positions and then they fly towards the Sun. The gas giant Jupiter also has an astonishing number of asteroids bound in its magnetic field. Jupiter's satellites appear to be quite stably bound to the planet. Since we humans have been able to observe the rocky debris in Jupiter's environment, they have been behaving stably. Most asteroids that pass us on their way into the inner solar system come from the large asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. However, asteroid 2024 PT5 probably has a completely different story, which also explains its unusual nickname. Experts suspect that our new mini-moon is actually a moon. Calculations have shown that it could be a fragment from a moon collision. The rock, which is only a few meters in size, was probably separated from our moon by an ancient impact. This event could have been triggered by the moon colliding with a larger asteroid, or 2024 PT5 could come from a time when collisions between the large objects in the solar system were even more frequent than they are today. Most asteroids are 4.5 billion years old, which is the same age as our star. Scientists would need to obtain a rock sample to be able to determine for sure how old 2024 PT5 is. Of course, that's what the researchers dream of doing. However, this endeavor is not that easy. If asteroid 2024 PT5 were to fly towards the Earth's surface, it would most likely burn up upon entering the atmosphere. Sending a probe to the pebble would be too expensive and we wouldn't have enough time. The rendezvous of just under two months is simply not enough to visit asteroid 2024 PT5 on site. Our science must be content with observing the asteroid with telescopes. These small objects can only be detected by a few telescopes on Earth. Facilities such as the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii or the Atlas Observatory in South Africa were specially designed to detect celestial objects with a diameter of a few hundred meters. These facilities constantly monitor the night sky in order to detect asteroids and other objects that could pose a danger to us in time. These astronomers will, of course, also monitor the movement of asteroid 2024 PT5 around the clock. However, experts admit that observations of these small asteroids are a real challenge for even the best facilities on Earth. Nevertheless, we hope that we will be able to collect sufficient information about the mini-moon to draw real conclusions about its origin and composition. Mini-moon, Comet, Solar Storms, and Supermoon we are currently experiencing a truly exciting time in astronomy. Our globe is exposed to so many unusual influences that we rarely see. In addition to the visit of the mini-moon, we are currently experiencing the prelude to the peak of the solar cycle 25. Although the highest solar activity is not expected until next year, solar flares are already considerable. Since the beginning of August, we have been experiencing periodic strong solar storms. Some of the particle streams have reached such proportions that the storms are already among the most severe of the century. For weeks, enthusiastic people have been observing magnificent auroras, even in regions where the colorful spectacle is never seen. In October 2024, we will experience another peak in solar activity. The thing about these strong solar storms is that they don't just bring us colorful spectacles in the night sky individual storms would have had what it takes to paralyze our terrestrial power supply or our communication networks. So far, we have been lucky. How and whether such particle storms affect our physical and mental health is not scientifically clear. In October, the Atlas Comet will continue to delight us with a special light show. Discovered in spring, the comet will come so close to Earth that it can be seen with the naked eye. Comet C-2019 Y4 Atlas, with its green tail, is one of the brightest comets of the year and is celebrated by many people as a bringer of light and a symbol of good luck. Unlike asteroids, comets are made of ice, dust, and rock. They too are interesting remnants from the time of the formation of the solar system, but they now have a very different local origin than asteroids. 
Presumably, the flying cosmic snowballs come from a collection of icy objects located far beyond the actual boundaries of the solar system. Once again, it is the Sun that releases the comets from the Oort cloud and then sends them flying towards our planet. As if that weren't enough celestial spectacles, in October 2024, we will also have a supermoon. This astronomical phenomenon occurs when the Moon is closer to the Earth than usual and is full at the same time. Scientists call this proximity the perigee. Supermoons occur every October. At this time of year, the Moon's elliptical orbit often coincides with the perigee, and the full Moon then appears up to 14% larger and 30% brighter than usual. Since the supermoon on October 17th will be accompanied by the appearance of the Atlas Comet, we will once again be treated to a truly unique spectacle. For astronomers and amateur stargazers, the fall of 2024 is packed with highlights of a special kind. Millions of people worldwide will flock to the vantage points in the evening to see the comet, the supermoon, or magnificent auroras. The question remains whether we will also be able to marvel at the mini-moon 2024 PT5 with our own eyes. No, astronomers are unequivocally dismissive here. Unless you have access to a high-powered telescope or are a professional astronomer, you won't get to see the little moon. Asteroid 2024 PT5 is clearly too small, at just a few meters across, to be visible to the naked eye or in amateur telescopes. Subscribe to the channel now and look forward to many new exciting videos.